So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I do um, how I put notes into the music. So as you can see, I have the woodwinds, flute, clarinet, oboe, bassoon, the brass, E flat horn, C trumpet, and timpani, all done up to almost the end of this phrase. Yes, the end of the phrase. But I still have the strings to go on writing down the music on the program. <clears throat> so I usually, this is Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 5 in C minor. So the key is C minor. E flat key signature with three three flats and I'm just going to be going up to here. I'm not going to be doing um well I could do the horn parts but for the sake of this video I just want to do the string parts up to the end. So, first, before I do the string parts, I just need to copy and paste. These parts to leave a space that it asks for in the original score. So that's control C. I cut it, control X, control V. Or you can just cut and paste control X and control V. It's going to take me a little bit longer to do this than it would usually because I'm trying to do it from a perspective that I'm not usually doing it at. Okay, and then when you save it, you can either go up here, click the save button. No, that's the print button. Cancel. Click the save button right here, and it saves it. To toggle between pages like I am, you do Alt and Tab, or you can literally go in between pages, 
the old-fashioned way, but this way is a lot faster, usually, and, okay, so I have This would be a little bit easier with printed music, but it takes a lot to print the music and then to get rid of the printed parts of the music. So I'm just going to be going off of a digital copy right now. So that's see. C, A, naturally, or naturally, natural, G flat, E flat, E flat, E flat. And then C. And for string parts, sometimes you have to do octaves as well. And if there's any accidentals, you need to make sure that you get those. The gay naturals in this key signature are not covered. Because there's an A flat. So there's different shortcuts you can use, like Control S for the save, saving it, and there's also Control C for con copying, Control V for pasting, if you have the same thing uh, bar after bar. Um, there's also Control X. So you cut it, cut something out. Um, if you're looking for different note values, they're usually at the top of the page right here. So you can do it that way, which is a little bit slower. Whereas you saw, hopefully, I changed this note value from a quarter any from an eighth note to a quarter note um using the five number five which corresponds with quarter note, but you could also just go up here and click on quarter note in these notes. Um, OK. 
Okay. So I'm using five because it's a quarter note with a quarter rest. Now I'm just going to go up here and make sure. Yes, that's the part where I need to to that's the right measure. You know, it's always good to double check. So since both violin parts have the same thing on that measure, I'm going to put them both control S for save. I'm going to put both of them with the same thing on that measure since I had to had um since I had it open and working on it. Um but Go over here to dynamics, bit of fortissimo right there, double forte, two Fs. Control S. And it takes about 10 minutes just to do a whole part of two a whole instrument part up to a certain spot. So times, uh, multiply that by like five to 10 instruments, depending on what section you're working on. Right now I'm working on strings. So string parts, take a little bit longer sometimes because you're having to you're having to put multiple notes in sometimes like right here but that's just an octave, which is easier to do than, like, say, something that is a complex chord or something like that. Now I'm just going to let you hear what it sounds like from the start of this phrase. Right here. At measure 47 up to... 57. So that's just 10 measures. This part right here from 47 up to here where the double forte is, fortissimo is, was already done. I just needed to do the rest of it. But as you can see, it took a little bit of time. So here is what it sounds like. So for the sake of time in this video, I'm not going to be um, doing any more on this score right now. So Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you understand what I go through when I do these scores. When it's 10 or more parts, 10 or more parts, then it's harder to do um, 
harder to complete the score in, in entirety, especially if it's like 300 measures like this movement is. It takes several days, if not weeks, just to complete this. On my last video, I did uh, my last score video, I completed the first movement of St. Paul's Suite, which is just for strings. So that would be two violin parts, a viola, a cello, and a bass part. So that was only five parts, instead of like a whole orchestral score, or orchestra score. So... That was a little bit easier to do, but still, it was a lot of work just to do it. Um, so thank you for watching this video, and I will see you later. Bye!